Hi guys, welcome to Grammatics. Those who are watching it for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Welcome to the maths class. Today we will be doing squares and square roots. So what do you mean by squares and then we will be going on to square roots. So starting with squares. Now, what is what do you mean by square? When a number is multiplied by itself, the product that we get is called the square of that number. For example, if I am taking 6 into multiplied by the same number, you will be getting 36. So, a number when it is multiplied by itself, the product that we get is called the square. That means 6 square is equal to 36. So, square of 6 is 36. Similarly, square of 7 is equal to 49. Now, what do you mean by square root? The square root of a number x is that number whose square is x. So, square root of a number x is that number whose square is x. For example, since here 6 square is equal to 36, root of 36 is equal to 6. So, this is what a square root is all about. Now, square root of a number can be found in two methods that is one is the prime factor method and the second one is the division method. Now, we will be moving on to the methods to find the square root of a certain number. Now, before that you have to know about a term called perfect square. Now, what do you mean by a perfect square? A perfect square is a number whose exact square root can be obtained. Now, how to obtain square roots of a number? That is, you have two methods. That is, first one is the prime factor method and the second one is the uh, division method. So, we are moving on to the methods to find the square root of certain perfect squares. Now, uh, prime factor method uh, uh, you have to use the factorization, prime factorization of certain numbers to find the square root of using the prime factor method. For, so, we will be putting the question. The first one is 484. You have to find the square root of 484. Now, how to find the square root of 484? You need to uh, do the prime factorization 484 242 so these are your prime factors of 484 so you can write as 484 is equal to 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 so, root of 484 means you have to put everything under the root 2 into 2 into 11 into 11. Now, what you have to do is you have to make groups of the same factors. So, here 2 into 2 is one group and 11 into 11 is another group. Now, you have to take one factor from each. From this group you take 1, 2 and from this 11 you take another. So, multiply it. It is 22. So, root of 484 is equal to 22. This is how you find the factors using the prime factor method. So, when you have to find the square root of a perfect square, you need to find the prime factors. So, you have to pair the same factors. Here, 2 into 2 is one pair and 11 into 11 is the second pair. From each pair, you take one factor and find the product. That will be giving you the square root of a perfect square. We will be doing one more problem regarding the prime factor method. So, your second problem is find the square root of 11025. Now, how you are going to find it? Again, you need to, here you have to use your divisibility test. It is not divisible by 2, it will be divisible by 3. 3 3s are 9, 3 6s are 18, 3 7s are 21, 3 5s are 18. 15. Again, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 2s are 6, 3 5s are 
So this is your prime factorization of 11025. Now how you are going to write? Square root of 11025. See that it is fully covered. Is equal to square root of. You write all the factors. 3 into 3 into. 5 into 5 into. 7 into 7. Okay. Now you make the pair. So that here was 3 into 3, 5 into 5, 7 into 7. Take one from each. That's equal to 105. So this is the square root of 1102. Therefore, square root of 11025 is equal to 105. This is your final answer. You, this is how you use the prime factorization method, and that is a prime factor method find the square root of a given perfect square this is all about perfect square so perfect square you know perfect square are numbers when you when you find the prime factorization you will be definitely getting pairs so when you are not getting pairs either you have done something wrong or the given number is not a perfect square all the perfect squares will definitely having pairs so this is how you find the square root of a given number using the prime factor method. Now moving on to the division method. Now this division method can be used to find the square root of perfect square as well as the numbers which are not perfect squares. But now we will be doing uh, the square root, how to find the square root of a perfect square, uh, how to find the square root of the numbers which are not perfect square using this division method, we will be doing it in the next video. So find the square root of 276676. Six, six. So now how you are going to do as uh, the name indicates it is the division method. So you will be going on with the, so you write your number. Okay. As soon as you get your number, the first thing you need to do is pairing the number from right to left. That is the very first step to find a square root using the division method. So you pair it from right to left, right to left. So 76, 66 and 27. So these are, so we will be taking each pair for the calculation. So here you have the number 27, that is your first number. Now what you have to do is, you have to think a number which when multiplied by itself, will be giving you either 27 or it should be less than 27. That means you have to find a number whose square is less than 27. So you have uh, 5 into 5, 25. So 5 into 5 means 5 will be there in the divisor, divisor place and another 5 will be there in the quotient's place. That is 5 into 5. That is how you have, we have to put uh, you have to put one 5 in the divisor place and the other one in the quotient place. Now 5 into 5 is 25. You just subtract these two numbers to bring down the other two. You have to bring the pairs together. You are not to as the ordinary division you are not bringing down a single by single numbers. You have to put the pair down. So here it is 266. Now what your next step is, you have to add these two numbers or double it, that is what it 5 plus 5, that is 10. You have to put it the left side of 266. Now what you have to do your next step is, you have to find a number that could be put here. You have to find a number that we have to put here and you have to multiply it with the same number. What we are putting here, for example, if you are putting 1 there, if you are putting 1 there, it will be 101 into 1 you are doing. That is 101. If you are putting 2 there, it is 102 into 2. That is equal to 2, not 4. And what you are putting here, you have to put the same number in the quotient also. See here, you have 266 
we got 101 204 so 204 is the app number how did you get with 204 102 into 2 so 1 2 you put it here the other 2 it will be going up it is 204 again you subtract 2 6 again you put the bring it down again the same step you have to repeat 102 plus this 2 gives you 104 you think of a number here that you have to put so the same number you will be putting it there so again you have to do the same calculations so 104 1042 into 2 how much it is given so 4 so one since here it is 6 we can go with 6 there 1046 into 6 6 6 of 36 6 3 6 4 the 24 27 6 2 7 6 so again here 6 here 6 it will be 6 2 7 6 so your remainder is 0 so since it is a perfect square you will be having the remainder as 0 okay now what is your answer your answer will be root of 276676 is equal to 526 this is how you find the root of a perfect square using the division method here every time it is a trial and error method in most of the things you have to just see the adding procedure 5 plus 5 10 you put a number 102 plus 2 104 and you put a number here the same number will be coming in the quotient place also so and you have to do till you have the remainder 0 because it is a perfect square so this is the second method that is the division method to find the square root of a perfect square now the same division method can be used to find the uh, square root of numbers which are not perfect square we will be doing it in the coming video and that's all for today guys thank you and bye